What's good? What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Imran, one half of the Harrogans, and today I'm back again with another chef magnificent video. Like you guys may notice um, from my last video that I'm actually in my kitchen right now. Um, that's because I'm getting ready to start chef and death in the real way. Uh, but before we continue, if you guys are new to the channel, I'd really appreciate it if you click that subscribe button. Come on, click it. Click it. You don't have to go nowhere. Just click it right now. And then cut, give us a like in our videos. Smash that like button. Go ahead and comment down below anything else you want us to, you know, do. I always, I love the kitchen. I love to cook in the kitchen. I, I find it therapeutic for me. Um, amongst other things I love to do with the kitchen is a lot of fun as well for me. And also share our video with your family, friends, your cat, dog, neighbor, whoever. We greatly, really appreciate it. Um, but before we go any further, something feels like it's missing. I think I need to, I need to change out into a better attire. So let's try something. Yeah, and this is what I'm talking about now. This now feels like I could actually throw down in the kitchen. It's time to get busy, get jiggy in this kitchen and do what we gotta do, guys. Before we go any further, also turn on your post notifications so you can see whenever I drop any of these, you know, kitchen bangers or whatever bangers. This is just something I do kind of in my spare time if I feel like it, um, just for fun. So. Follow me into the kitchen, I won't hold you any longer. Let's get it, let's go. Okay folks, we're here now. We got some Belgian Lotus biscuits. Into this freezer tips Ziploc bag. We got a pound there, just gonna make the rip broken up pieces. There we go. And guys, you got your chocolate. And your butter. Coming with some eggs, some white sugar, brown sugar. Then we beat that thing up with a hand mixer until it's fluffy. It's fluffy enough. There's a trail. Check it out. I'm gonna add the chocolate and butter into the mix. Then we whip it and whip it and whip it and whip it again, whip it again. See how it's changed color again after adding in the chocolate? This is what we got here. We hit this up with some vanilla extract, sour, cool powder. And a pinch of salt for good measure. Combine this bad boy. All done. Then I'm gonna get my little Pyrex that's buttered and then some parchment paper laid inside. And I'm gonna put some of these nicely crushed up lotus biscuits inside. Like so. We want to get our batter here, our mixture, and somehow get it over here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, kind of sort of like that. Yeah, like this. Now, I'm going to hover over this bad boy and just drop a few drops of biscuit spread in different segments of it. So one there. And then for all my viewers out there, whoever knows me, knows that this knife is the knife in my kitchen that does magic. It's like a magic one. Check this out. Okay. <laughs> Can you dig it? Can you dig it? Check it out. Magic, folks. And now for the final touches. Some biscoff on top biscuits. What is biscoff biscuits on top? Mm-hmm. Time to bake this bad boy in an oven for 40 minutes at 180 degrees. Okay. It's baking time, guys. A 
A few moments later. Yo, in here is so hot. This is gotta be done by now. It's been 40 minutes. Ooh, magnificent. Ooh. So here we have the finished product. Came out lovely, if I do say so myself. It was supposed to be a red, well, a square pirate, but this came out more like kind of subtle square. And it looks so nice. I want to show it to you guys when it's sliced. <laughs> there you have it guys, all sliced and diced and ready for consumption. Don't forget to hit, us up, hit up our channel and subscribe, like, share for more beautiful content like this amongst other things. Thank you guys, love you, peace.